parents and graduates, you guys both know the price of college is going to burden you and it can stay with you for decades. Yep. A local group, though, has found a way to try and help students who need it the most. Our Aaron Jones tonight showing you the difference that they're making. Even as a teen mom, Gladys Macias was able to graduate high school determined to become the first in her family to graduate college. I felt like it was up to me to make them proud and I owed it to them and I owed it to myself. However, there was one major concern. How am I going to pay for school? Who's going to guide me through these processes? One of her teachers introduced her to Scholarshot, a nonprofit founded by a group of professionals, educators, and community volunteers who in 2009 looked at data from the TEA and the Texas Higher Education Coordinating Board. So it showed, for example, if you're a first generation low income kid, nine out of 10 of those kids who enroll in college drop out. If you're lucky enough, to earn a degree. In Texas, the average is 45000 in debt. Scholarshot Executive Director Dan Hooper has authored a book called Fleece You, How American Universities Are Robbing Our Kids and Our Future, which brings awareness to the situation. For parents, be very deliberate with your daughter or son on uh, avoiding debt. He says in part you can take advanced placement classes in high school that can help you earn college credit. Consider doing two years at a community college which can be about one-third the cost of a four-year university. When it comes to your undergrad consider college close to home so you can save on housing and other costs. I get emotional because it's like it's just the helping hand I needed. It was the guidance that I needed. Last year Macias finally accomplished her goal. It was awesome. It was just like, wow, like, I, I did it. The UNT Dallas grad now working her dream job while setting an excellent example for her family. In Dallas, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News. And